Back in September, we reported that Kawasaki would be unveiling its highly teased Z900RS, a modern take on the 1970s Kawasaki Z1. The motorcycle was already unveiled in October to the Japanese crowd at the Tokyo Motor Show, but it had yet to reach stateside audiences. That changed today at New York City International Motorcycle Show, where the America-specific 2018 Kawasaki Z900RS was launched. Following are the essential fast facts about the 2018 Kawasaki Z900RS, which follows the retro craze of motorcycles such as the Triumph Street Cup, BMW R19 and the CB1100X. 1. The new Z900RS uses the Z900 as a platform, but with retro styling reminiscent of the Z1 Sport bike. 2. This is the second model in the Z900 lineup. The base model Z900 was released for 2017, a naked sport bike replacing the Z1000 and one year Z800. 3. Powering the Z900RS is the liquid cold, DOHC, 16 valve 948 cc inline 4 tune for strong low and mid range power. 4. For ample acceleration in town, and for improved MPG and reduced vibration on the highway, the Z900RS's transmission features a short first gear and a tall sixth gear. 5. To prevent roll hop during downshifts, the Z900RS has a slipper clutch. 6. The 2018 Kawasaki Z900RS uses Kawasaki's first tune exhaust note exhaust, which features a 4 into 1 stainless steel design. 7. The Z900RS has a lightweight trellis frame with a rigid mounted engine that's connected at 5 points to the frame, front and rear of the cylinder head, behind the cylinder, and at the top and bottom of the crankcases. 8. Suspension duties are handled by a 41mm inverted fork and Kawasaki's horizontal back link rear suspension. 9. Stopping the Z900RS are dual 300mm discs up front squeezed by four piston radial mount calipers, and a single 250mm disc out back rasped by a single piston caliper. ABS is standard. 10. The 2018 Kawasaki Z900RS is also enhanced with a two-level traction control. Mode 1 is for standard conditions, and Mode 2 for rain. The system can also be turned off. 11. An analog-style speedometer and tachometer